The year was 2007. It was a long time ago. And um, I was at home in Michigan with my parents, uh, a couple close friends, my sisters, and we were just watching the draft. And um, that draft was, it was back in the format when it was still like super, super long. So I ended up sitting there watching the draft for like five hours. And uh, I got a phone call from the Kansas City Chiefs and they were on the clock at 23. So everybody in my house just starts freaking out and thinking about to get drafted. And I go outside and I'm on the landline. They didn't even have, I don't think self-service was even that great back then, it was so long ago. It's like, hey Joe, uh, stay in the line, hold on. And I just sat there for five minutes and then they came back on and said, oh, we're gonna go with the other guy? All right, hey Joe, best of luck. Click. And so I came back in and everybody was like, are you ready? And I was like, nope, they didn't pick me. So I sat there waiting until I was supposed to go to the Baltimore Ravens at 29. My agent had, was telling me that they were going to select me. The Patriots were on the clock at 28. I got a phone call from the Niners, and I was thinking, you know, I'm going to go at 29. Sorry. Um, so I told the guy, they're like, yes, I'm going to get picked next pick. So, you know, I'm sorry I'm not going to be there when you guys pick next. And then they said, well, watch the TV. We just made a trade. We're going to take you with the 28th pick. So everybody started freaking out and uh, became a San Francisco 49er. With the 28th pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Joe Staley, offensive tackle, Central Michigan. I met Joe Staley at length last week, and I got to tell you, Joe Staley is one of my favorite players in the entire NFL. 33 years old, 12th season with the 49ers. This guy has protected 11 different quarterbacks with the Niners. That's Dilfer, Alex Smith, Chris Wenke, Sean Hill, J.T. O'Sullivan, Troy Smith, Cap, Gabbert, Hoyer, C.J. Beathard, and now Garoppolo. But this guy has a huge personality. Forget all the charity stuff. That alone is amazing. He's incredibly, incredibly philanthropic. Yeah, like I said, I, like I anticipated before I got here, Joe is the best, and uh, we've hit it off great. You know, joking with everybody that he's my new best friend and I'm his, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's great to have somebody to, to be that to be close with, and. Um, also have the experience that he does and the knowledge that he does and be able to bounce things off of him that I'm working through and that I'm trying to do and um, you know he's been there for me every step of the way not only from football but also in getting acclimated and having fun here in the, in the Bay Area so um, he's an awesome guy and I'm very very lucky to be in the situation that I'm in. Uh, we got some beasts, uh, Staley, uh, he's a monster so I mean he's, 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 he's a very good athlete Joe's exceptional and uh, I think it's just kind of sends a, a message to a lot of the guys that are coming up is you know, I take pride in what I've done here and um, try to do things the right way uh, lead by example and you know show up and do my job as the highest ability I can and you know I think it was a uh, you know, great respect by the front office to you know they didn't have to do this and it was just something that I'm very appreciative of and I think a lot of guys you know kind of see it as you know if you do things the right way you work hard and you know, keep your keep yourself out of uh you know out of trouble and you're gonna get you get rewarded so you know, i was uh you know super excited and, and grateful to uh, you know the york family and the front office to you know allow me this opportunity to continue my career and i'm you know, super excited to get going this season on the edge uh, you've been nothing short of incredible and have always made my life easy, so I will miss you for that. And one of my favorite things <clears throat> Sorry. You always knew um You always knew when to pick me up, and uh, you just you always knew the right thing to say. Um, <clears throat> you always knew how to get me going on the football field, and I'll always thank you for that. So, uh, sorry. So thank you, Joe. Uh, you are the. 49er legend, baby. We love you. Sir, what's going on, baby? We're having a hell of a day. Hell yeah. All right. It's against a lot of guys. You know, in our division, we have a lot of good pass rushers, and he does a good job. Hey, 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 we 
shut up. We shut those guys up. Offensive tackle, good for 17 yards. First half, first and 10 from the 30 off the play fake to Bill. Great pass is caught by Staley. The left tackle, Joe Staley, picks up 14 yards and comes up with a dip. Hi, everybody. I'm just Daly here at the Joe Show. I'm here with Callum Gabernick. How you doing? Hey. Alex. Yeah. So you have your own show now called The Boondocks. Uh, talk a little bit to the audience about why you chose to do a show. Well, I, I think they just kind of came to me. Is it because you're following in my footsteps? Well, no, they said that there was a low viewing rating for your show, so they needed something to kind of come back and boost it up. So, uh Boondock, baby. So if you were to boost up my ratings, does that mean your show is just that bad that everybody's going back to my show? No, they wanted the viewers to keep that's coming. That's what you said. And they kept going away, you know? So they're Coming back to my show, yeah, that's what you would want to do if they're watching your show. Absolutely. It's a nine-minute personal log of your boring life. Well, no, it's behind the scenes, you know? And it's probably boring because you're singing in it. We kicking it back, we kicking it back, and it goes a little something like this. Tag team, back again, chicken and brick, and let's begin. Party on, party people, let me hear it. Snow, DC's in the house, jump, jump, but Send the party over here. Party over there, with your hands in the air, the dairy, yeah. These three words when you're getting busy. Woo, there it is, hit me. Woo, there it is. Woo, there it is. I heard that you settled down, that you found the girl and your Mary now I heard that your dreams came true Guess you gave the things that I didn't give to you I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited but I couldn't stay away, I couldn't fight it, I guess I'm the food and the bed and body that can be this isn't over. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you, too. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Missed that one. Can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. Can't touch this. Sweat running all over my chest. Yeah, I said I quit. No, I just press harder than ever before. Going for the glory that I have been stolen my mind. I know that I'm making it. I gotta get money. No bodies taking it away. No, cause him don't play that. Try to get mine, boy. Better step back, freeze. Cause you don't want none. I'll spend my muscle. And you won't need none. Yeah, I'm going to run like it. You can go track to them too legit to quit, son. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. Joe Show. All right, here we are. We're here with Daniel Kilgore, everybody. Daniel, why are you sweating right now? We just got done with uh, lunch, 
<laughs> yeah, like, like, it's a big one. What'd it's a big have? one. You have? Uh, potatoes. Oh, uh, nice. A nice start off with a potato. Green beans. Green beans. And some, uh, and some what? Chicken. And some chicken? Yeah. Nice. Nice, healthy, balanced lunch for you. Yeah, I don't want to eat too much. Gets the blood pressure pumping. Yeah. Ask uh, Zane about blood pressure. Oh, man, you're, start, you're starting to stutter. Stutter? Yeah, it's, it's bad. Joke. Sure. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh. Now you're singing it. <laughs> yeah. I said, hey, you punched a cardboard cutout. I'm going to punch you in the face for real. And I went to, like, fake it. But and, he, and he leaned into it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and his... I punched him in the face. Joe I, says, relax, Bo. Relax. Please don't hit me. Please yeah, don't I hit said, me. Please. I got real scared. <laughs> All right. This is... uh. When you're giggling, you're also laughing. Yep. Take off the ending. Laugh. And then uh, when you're really getting with the boys, you're having what you just said. You're just a good time. Yeah, but you're also include that word you just had. <laughs> laugh. Good time. Yeah. Good time. Laugh. <laughs> good laugh. <laughs> oh. He said. Mm. Good. good time. There's two letters. You did this. Laugh, laugh it up. up. But I don't know how laugh to say it. it. Up. Okay. So where was the good time? Yeah, just like laughing it up. Yeah, I don't you, know. You had me going. You, you, you had me. What's his name? There's no way we won't do this. Man. My bad, street. No way. My bad, street. You was. Oh, damn. Yeah, bro, there's no way to get this one, bro. All right, well. I just up. give up. Wow. <laughs> My it bad, street. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But guess what, though? No panic. There's no panic. Yeah, no yeah. What John regular of the cast? Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It cast direct. Cast. Casting. You forgot the I and G, oh, and that would mess you up. The God. details, Eli. The details. So, like, he's Easter, Easter hunting. Oh, oh, basket. Good win. That's four to two. That was good. What was it? Basket case. If you would have got basket, I would have been like. Oh. Year. It was a long time ago, right? I kind of yeah, I remember it. I try. I'm trying to remember it. Okay, what was uh, what was the best part about your rookie year? Getting to play with you, Joe. Did you do a lot of squats when you were in college? Yes. What's your number one max rep? Like 520 pounds. That is unbelievable. Add that to the list. There's not anybody in the NFL that squats 500. Did you say 500? You're lying right to my face. 500 pounds. This guy is a beast. Ah! Ah! Thanks for being on the show. George Kittle. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, it's George. <laughs> no, I mean, this person good. Let's do his. Uh... Oh, hey, hi there. Oh, great to see you, huh? Yeah, it's good to be here. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know why. He doesn't have ever have a Canadian accent, but I always, like, talk about like, but that's but what he—that's what he does. It's what he does, yeah. but it's not like George has a lot of layers. Yeah. He doesn't let people really know the real him. If you stop me up, ow! If you stop me up, I'll never stop. Never stop. Ooh. If you stop me up, if you stop me up, I'll never stop. Never stop. Never stop. Hunting hot. You got me wrecking, I don't blow my top. If you stop me up, 
flavor in about five seconds, mm. so it doesn't even matter if you have oh, a little small. Gum. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of gum. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get a bubble. I think you can. The jaw muscle is going to be a little <laughs> tight after this. Okay, are we at the bubble? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I'm cramping. My face is cramping. <laughs> do you think you really can do a bubble? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Okay. Ready for the next one? I'm trying to do a bubble. <laughs> oh my god, that's so <laughs> Oh, you got it though! You did it! Well done. I feel for your jaw. Thanks for listening, everybody. Let's go fairly sign off for a one on one with Kiana. My favorite. She's the best. Everybody watch. <laughs> I'm going to go spit out this gum. Yeah. Yeah, you should do that. This is disgusting. It's, it probably lost flavor already. Oh, no, it's flavorful. It's just like that zebra gum. It's like too much flavor.